Hi, my name is Greg Rader. I'm a second grade teacher at Winfield Elementary School. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we use place value to do three digit addition. Um, my math problem right here is Tim has 436 toy cars and 258 toy trucks. How many cars and trucks does he have in all? One of the first things I like to do when I'm working with my students is really have them break the numbers down and use that knowledge of place value to see what we have. So we almost always start by setting up our workspace by hundreds, tens, and ones. And I also really encourage the students and parents as well whenever they come to me with concerns and things to kind of color code what we have going on in our math problems. I think that really helps the students identify the different parts and if they do make a mistake or something's going on it's quick for them to spot out and helps us in the long run identify where some of the confusion is happening. So you can use whatever kind of colors you have, it really doesn't matter, but these are ones that I chose. So once we kind of set it up, we can go back and look at how many hundreds do we have in each number. So right here, 436. We'll start by drawing our four hundreds, followed up by three tens, the thirty, ten, twenty, thirty, and then ones, six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like to use dots, lines, and squares just because the students are very comfortable with it. It's hard to confuse a square for a dot. A lot of times the kids try to use circles and things like that and get a little messy and it's easier for me to understand. Once we have that down, we can move on to our second number, 285. So we'll have our 200s. 80 has 8 tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. I like to leave this middle space because that's where we're actually going to be doing the work and showing our thinking. Um, because a lot of us can see right now, we're going to have a little bit of regrouping or what I like to call in our class repacking. We'll have to have an area for that. So now that we have everything laid out nice and neat, we can start with our addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ones. The students know from their place value unit you can't have 11 in the ones column. So what we start by doing is we're going to circle 10 of them. Because it's a 10, we'll change over our colors. There we go, we got them all. And we're going to arrow them up and make a brand new 10. That way the kids can see it nice and neat. Now, we have that one left over, we're going to get back to him later. Looking at the tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Once we get to that 100, we know we have to pack those up because we can't have that many tens. So we'll start our circles, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Circle them all, and just like we did with the ones, we packed them up to make a new 10. We'll do the same with our hundreds. And once we have everything mapped out nice and neat, we can kind of come back and look at our problem. All right? We know that we need to find out how many we have in all. So we're going to be doing an addition problem. We started with 436. We're adding our 285 trucks. And what we want to know is the total. A lot of times we like to use mystery squares or using a symbol for our unknown. Now, we did the work, so we just have to fill it in. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. We can look at our tens. Because we're able to circle this and the color coding really helps you see the difference, we've already used up all of these. They came upstairs. So now we only have two tens left over, that 20, and then, same thing with the ones, we have one le left over, and we'll put that into our answer. So, 436 plus 285 equals 721, and that's a really nice, clear picture representation that the kids can use. It's easier for the teachers to understand, they can help you out too. Thank you very much.